I have some exciting news today. There's a new tool in my shop, and it's big. Really, really, really big. Okay, so here it is. The CNC Router Parts Pro 5x11. It's a massive machine. It's in my shop. It belongs to Make, but I get to use it, which kicks ass. I also picked up Dust Collection, got a one horsepower from Grizzly with a one micron uh, filter. Try to save my lungs a bit, especially when cutting MDF. The spoiler board just came in and I drilled these holes in it and forgot to record it. And for this video, what I'm gonna do is finish the spoiler board uh, before I can actually start cutting the, the parts for the project I'm doing for Make, which is an awesome project. It's not super loud, but it does hurt my ears, and why not, or why risk it? Better safe than sorry. Gonna throw some earplugs in, and let's cut some pockets. You may have noticed that the dust collection was not on for a whole lot of this, and that's because I, uh, I was hearing this weird ticking noise, and then the first run actually crashed and failed. Uh, there was some kind of an error. Um, that wasn't happening before, and the only thing that I've really changed is that I moved the power, I think I put them both on the same circuit, the dust collection and the uh, router on the same circuit. So I've separated them again, I'm gonna clean this off, and uh, then I have to put in all the little fasteners to hold this down. It's gonna take a while. For the most part, the waste board went fine. Uh, my holes were actually like an eighth of an inch off, so I just moved the parallel supports, but I can't move this one. This one's dead center, and you can see there's just the slightest gap. Um, it, the whole parallel needed to move this way, just like half an inch, an eighth of an inch, but I can't because that one's all attached to the frame. So I've got this clever solution on how I can get these supports in there and drill that out. Check this out. You can see two holes here. Now I could just drill this out and make it bigger, but then my support, uh, my support bolt won't fit. So what I did is I sacrificed one so that I could get all the others. And here's how I'm doing it. I drop in my support into here. And then I lay it down, and I scoot it over, and then I take this packing strap, and I push it over to the next one. Let's see here. There it is. Nice and easy. So, ideally, this wouldn't happen, but it did. Now what I'm going to do is just drill a little bit of a notch so I can put my bolts in. Unfortunately, this one will need a washer, or just not to be bolted down. Just having one not bolted down shouldn't be too bad. Um, there you go.
We've got the spots for the clamps and all of the um, pegs done. And while I was standing here staring at this, something occurred to me. I said I couldn't move this center one. And that's because it has these brackets. Um, but now that I think about it, that's there's no reason I couldn't have just moved it over, you know, that eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch. There's really no reason those brackets, I mean, I could have just loosened it up and moved it over. I didn't have to do any of that. Oh well. I don't know why I thought it couldn't move. Time to surface this. The surfacing's done, and these little bits just pop out, and I'm going to pop them all out because that looks like fun. So there you have it. Now it's got a nice fresh wasteboard that I can clamp to. It's time to get back to work on the project for make.